We discussed how tire pressure can help us maximize the contact patch. Camber allows us to change how the weight is spread across the width of that patch. Camber is this angle as you look at the front of the car. This is negative camber, with the top of the wheels pointed in, which increases load on the inside edge of the tyre. And here is positive camber, with the top of the wheel pointed out. Now more of the weight will be on the outside edge of the tyre. We might think zero camber angle would be best, and it would be if we didn't need to turn, which transfers weight to the outside edge of the tyres. With this in mind, we can make camber negative to help centralise the weight on the contact patch during the turn. Another way to think about this, if turning shifts weight to the outside edge of the tyre and negative camber angle shifts weight to the inside edge, they will cancel each other out during the turn, which increases overall contact patch and maximises grip. There is a catch. Excessive camber angles will limit straight line grip since more of the weight is on the edge of the tyre. This reduces grip when accelerating through increased wheel spin and when braking increasing stopping distances and will almost certainly reduce turn in response. So we can start small, somewhere between 0 and minus 1.5 degrees. Then we check if the camber angle is appropriate for cornering by using the in-game telemetry to monitor tyre temperatures like we discussed in the last video. We should aim for even temperatures across the whole width of the tyre, inside, centre and outside edges at the point of corner exit. This is looking at the outside tyre on the turn, since that has most of the grip. In a left turn, we look for even temperature distribution on the right tyres. If the inside edge is hotter than the outside, reduce camber, make it less negative or more upright. If the outside edge is hotter than the inside edge, increase camber, making it more negative or leaning in. Camber is almost always negative or close to zero. If the temperatures are not exactly even, then aim for the outside edges to be slightly warmer than the inside edges on corner exit. On the straights, the inside edges will be warmer. This is normal and is to be expected. As is always the case when tuning cars, there is a compromise to be made. We need to find a camber angle that maximises cornering grip without impairing straight line handling too much. Even when using a tuning calculator that gives a starting camber, it's up to us to test and tune to get that perfect balance. Now you should have everything you need to start fine tuning camber.